In this video, we're going to take a look at this free resource called senderscore.org where you can actually take a look at your IP address or your domains that you're sending your emails from and see if you have any issues that may affect your deliverability. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is David with Tech Smart Boss here with another video. I'm going to take a look at sender score today and in episode 79 of the podcast I talked about ways to improve your email deliverability. Well this is a free resource um, that we're going to go over today that you can quickly register and get a report to see what's called your sender score. Think about a credit score as for your finance. Um, this is a, a tool that will give you a, a score for your email deliverability. Now it's really designed more it's going to take a look at your IP address and see what type of spam ratings and things like that and generally for a small business you're not going to have dedicated IP addresses or you're not going to pay for that um, but even without that you can still get some some benefit from that just some of the corrective things if you're using like a G Suite or something like that you're not going to be able to do very much about their IP address other than no that you've got a potential issue there so I want to go ahead and put in my business domain here and click on this view partial report so without even registering they're gonna give you a little bit of information not a lot it's gonna go out there and take a look and just make sure I've got a MX record uh, I've got my SPF set up and it's gonna see if I've got a SSL certificate on my domain and all that stuff is valid but you'll see that it actually does collect information about who's sending information from that domain and, and the reason it can collect this is because there's just things in the internet the way it connects that kind of uh, the backbone of it shares some of this information with the rest of the backbone and that's how um, companies come up with these things like like sending uh, sender score so what I'm gonna do is create an account very simple to do it's free they are going to um, try to upsell you uh, to their paid service once you have that but I'm gonna go ahead and set up an account so I'm gonna probably blur out much of this information this is just a standard form that you're going to fill out I'll put in my business email for this one see how fast I can type maybe we'll speed this up on uh, the video itself um, I'll, uh, where is Nevada and I'm in uh, software and internet and I'll blur out my uh, phone number no need to put that in the video and um, I'll just say don't know and I'm not a robot so kind of a long form there but let's go ahead and take a look at this now I'm gonna pause the video and go out there and get that confirmation one second okay I'm back and I have now confirmed my account so let's go ahead and log in and take a look at what that complete report is going to look like. I was thinking it was going to be completely ironic if their email to me went to my spam folder, but it did not. It did pop into my email, um, so that, that did work fine. So let's go ahead and register for their free account. This is my little remember password um, uh, manager. I definitely recommend you use one of those. All right, so it looks like we're right back up to that first screen so now let's go ahead and put back in my domain and let's see all the details of the report and what additional information is going to give me and uh, oh, well in this particular case not too much in terms of information let's actually look up uh, another one I'm look up tech smart boss and see if that brings up anything different here All right, everything's good there. And again, I'm not getting a lot because I don't honestly I don't send a, a lot of uh, email and I don't have a dedicated IP address, so it's not finding a lot on my domain. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually grab an IP address that Google is using to send my email and put that in there. So hold on hold on one second while I get an IP address. Okay, so I went out to an email to actually get one of the IP addresses that my mail is coming through from G Suite. I'm going to test this and see what it has on this particular IP address. Let's just see if we can 
get something interesting uh, from this center score. Uh, all right, here we go. So now you'll see that when you do actually have a dedicated IP or you want to go in and, and, and check um, specific IPs, you'll see that it brought back this host name is coming from Google. Uh, very high sender volume. So again, it's, it's going to take some volume to be able to get some reports from here, obviously. And you can see that Google's doing a pretty good job. Um, no emails from this particular IP address have gone in. Oh, a couple have gone into spam traps. Now, that, of course, wouldn't be me. This is a shared IP address uh, that Google is going to monitor on my behalf. And you'll actually see here all the different people. This is interesting. You can see who's using G Suite um, by popping these IP addresses in here. Uh, but you'll see 3,500 uh, domains have sent something out to this um, IP address. Uh, look at that, Yale.edu is on G Suite. And Google's doing a pretty good job um, verifying it. So this is a tool. I think it's going to be a little bit more useful if you do have, if you've paid for dedicated IP addresses for your outbound marketing emails, either through SendGrid or wherever, uh, whatever marketing tool you may be using. Um, but it's also just as free and it's just a nice check to make sure that you don't have any things on your particular domain that's blacklisted, uh, especially if you have some volume that it'll pick it up. So hopefully you enjoyed this. You got something from it. Take a look. Check it out. Listen to episode 79 of the podcast and if you like these kind of videos subscribe to our youtube channel um, we're putting out uh one video each week uh, so stay tuned for that and also check out our facebook page where we're doing some things out there as well see you next time